Hello, this is a quick look at the Lego Ninjago 2023 Lloyd's Ninja Street Bike Set. This comes with uh, 64 pieces, 6'4", six, and it is for kids 4 and up. I did build this live over on my Twitch channel, and it cost me $10 US for the set. One zero. You can find it tagged on the video. Let's get straight into it because it's a very simple set. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time. I'm just going to get straight through the good stuff. That is a print on the front, and it's a really good print. A really, really good print. Solid. It's got some metallics in it. Good opacity on the white, even. <laughs> what a concept. Four plus, so they're using the simple build for a bike. But you know what? This is a good build because it's nice and compact. It's big enough for kids to grab of all different ages. It looks pretty decent to me. And look, you can put it into a turning pose and it can be straight up, it holds on to two katanas, one on either side. You can choose whether to attach the hands to the handlebars or not. And just generally, this is a good thing. It, it doesn't fall apart too easily. What falls off most easily will just be those katanas if you're extra rough with it, but that's okay. It doesn't take anything away from the playability. So all in all, this is a win for what it is for something cheap, not $10. That's not worth $10 right there to me, but set also comes with this. You get a little bit of the, um, uh, just a, a temple, a temple arch way there or shrine. And it has in it a, a disc shooter. So two by two disc shooter, and then the sword of fire back there, right? It's protected by some bones here. Just a little plate that has a little bit of extra space on the front where you can stage up a little battle. Looking at it from around the other side. I mean, that is, that is a good mold. So that's worth it. But otherwise, this generally is a very basic thing. But the, the disc shooter does work, does its job. You know, this, this is a very, very simple side build. Looking at the figures, here's Lloyd. And this is a bone guard figure with the metallic arms, good prints there, including some metallics on the printing. And I'd say the opacity of the tan is pretty decent. The opacity for the face is acceptable. It's not, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. But the Lloyd printing, I think, is pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of the use of olive green. I think the 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 lime is fine, you know, for something different. But the olive green, at least the print there, looks pretty good. But maybe I could maybe I could kind of warm to this over time. But it hasn't entirely worked for me just yet. But just looking at it here, so you can see that face a little bit better. Yeah, could be a little bit better with the face, but it's not bad. Leftover pieces are just these with a couple spares for the disc shooter. The price is again $10 US, 10 euros, 9 pounds UK. And with all of this considered, I think that the value here is good. As a four plus set, I think it works. It's nice and simple. Gives you a basic versus scenario. I think that most kids are not going to end up using the disc shooter very much. Because honestly, as it's set up right now, it's a little something that you can use every once in a while. Some kids are going to get good use out of it, but I think most aren't. So for the most part, I think this is just going to be uh, a, a destination back here. The structure is just going to be a destination, a place to, to go, to pick up the sword, to fight, to do whatever. Um, and, and that's fine. This is good. Figures are fine for what they are. Overall, successful enough set for $10. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.